Katie and I spent most of the fall in Israel, and we had a great time there. We were there for about seven weeks. We did a lot of things while we were there. First of all, we were involved in Sukkot there. We were uh, gathering information for some books that I'm planning to write. We were meeting people throughout the country uh, and just doing things that are important to the kinds of things I'll be doing in the future, gathering video and audio material for various purposes. We spent a lot of time in Jerusalem, and we tried to spend a fair amount of time in the old city of Jerusalem. And one day we were uh, walking through the old city, and I was taking uh, video shots of things in the old city so that I could show people back in the United States that, in fact, uh, the old city of Jerusalem is very much a city with uh, residential communities, with shopping areas, with uh, workmen, and so on. And as we were walking along the Cardo in Jerusalem, which is one of your main shopping streets in the old city, um, there was an open door, and inside this uh, shop was a man who was uh, making jewelry. He was a silversmith. So I stuck my head in the door, and I asked him if he would mind if I took some pictures. And he said, no, I wouldn't mind at all. Go ahead. And I took my pictures. And after I finished, he said, thank you. And it surprised me. So I said, well, for what? He said, many people come in here and take my picture, but no one has ever asked for my permission. I thought that was strange that no one had ever asked for for his permission. It seemed natural to me to ask for permission. But uh, I I was very appreciative. And uh, I told him, or Katie told him, that we would be back later to look at his jewelry because we were going to buy some things for for our daughters. Well, later that week, we came in, and it was on Friday. It was just before the shop was going to close for Shabbat. And uh, his daughter was in the shop with him, and she was a a silversmith as well. She is a silversmith as well. And so she and I got into a very lengthy discussion, and she told me a lot of things. And her father just sat there and listened while we talked. Um, For the most part, she was talking to me, telling me things about what it's like to grow up in Israel, to grow up in the old city of Jerusalem, to have to live daily with the violence that is, uh, or the threat of violence that that is a part of life in Jerusalem, and so on. And then she made a comment that uh, I couldn't let pass. She was referring to the Messiah, and she was uh, saying that the Messiah, that all three religions, meaning uh, Judaism, um, Islam, and Christianity, uh, believe in the Messiah. And I stopped her and I said, no, that's not correct. We don't all believe in the Messiah. I said, we all believe there is a Messiah, but the Messiah that the Jews believe in and the Messiah that uh, the Christians believe in is Yahweh. And she looked at me with a strange look on her face and she said, number one, we don't say that name. And number two, the Messiah is the, the Messiah's name is not Yahweh. And I said, oh, really? Do you have a Tanakh? And she did. I said, well, why don't you get it? And she went and got her Tanakh. It was right there in the shop with her. I said, okay, turn to Jeremiah, and I want you to read verses 5 and 6. So she got her Tanakh. She opened it to Jeremiah 23, 5 and 6, and she read it for a few seconds, and she looked up at me, and she said, The Messiah's name really is Yahweh. Interesting. At first she wouldn't say the name, and the name of the the Messiah could not be Yahweh. And then within a matter of uh, minutes, a very few minutes, she looked at me and said, The Messiah's name is Yahweh. I'm going to read to you Jeremiah 23, verses 5 and 6. Behold, the days are coming, declares Yahweh, when I shall raise up for David a righteous branch, and he will reign as king and act wisely and do justice and righteousness in the land. In his days Judah will be saved, 
and Israel will dwell securely. And this is his name by which he will be called, Yahweh our righteousness. In Hebrew, it's Yahweh Sekene. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Messiah's name really is Yahweh. And we know that for a fact because that's what Yahweh told Jeremiah. Now, you may want to argue that's not the case, but to make your argument, you're going to have to argue that the Bible is wrong, that Yahweh was mistaken. People, that is an argument I personally don't want to make. 